Last time you joined us, we had a beautiful trip home from Athens, Georgia. Unfortunately, just before we made it back to Stewart, our autopilot stopped working properly. Alright, so we're inbound for landing and we have lost our autopilot. So there's something wrong. We're gonna just, we've been hand flying here for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna hand fly it in all the way. I usually hand fly on the approach, but just to give you an update as to what's going on. So on today's video, AJ will fly the plane to and from North Palm Beach County General Aviation Airport to get the autopilot sorted out so we can get back in the air. Ground Aztec 2441 Mike, looking for a VFR departure to the south with information x ray. 2441 Mike, Stuart Ground Roger, where are you parked? At the Stewart Jet Center. 2441 Mike, Roger, runway 12, taxi via Alpha. 12, taxi via Alpha, 41 Mike. Right, clear to the right, clear left, and clear center. Alright, this is going to be a quick video today. We're just taxiing down to the departure end, runway 12. I have an 11 minute flight to uh, North Palm Beach, so uh, in all reality it'll probably be a little bit longer than that, uh, but uh, we had an autopilot failure last time we were flying. Uh, so the return from Athens video that we put up last time, the last 45 minutes to an hour or so, uh, I had to hand fly that from Melbourne back to Stewart. Uh, because we uh, weren't able to maintain attitude, altitude with the autopilot. So nevertheless, uh, we are going to head down to avionics shop down in uh, North Palm Beach. And uh, the gentleman there, Stacy, who thinks he can get this put back together for me. So when we bought the plane, turns out I had a whole backup autopilot in a box of parts. So potentially it'll be as easy as a part swap. But... Uh, but who knows, it may be time to upgrade the autopilot. We'll just see what he has to say after he can get it sorted. Should be a nice little sundown flight after work to get the plane down to uh, North Palm Beach and uh, probably take a week or so to get it fixed. But uh, the next video will be the plane coming home uh, uh, after getting the autopilot fixed. A little bit of weather just went through shortly ago, uh, about an hour. So we have some uh, some low remaining clouds in the area, but nothing bad. Should make for a nice little flight. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike is uh, ready for departure at runway 12. Number 41 Mike, Stewart Tower, runway 12, clear for takeoff, proceed on course. Runway 12, cleared for takeoff, proceed on course, 41 Mike. Five times three, gauges in the green, good fuel flows. We're trucking. Okay, there's 65. Tap the brakes. Gear up. Traffic 11 o'clock to you, two miles inbound at 800 feet. Look at the traffic, 41 Mike. We're go out towards the coast. We should be clear off all on ADSB until visual, 41 Mike. Number 41 Mike, you've climbed above the traffic. Frequency changes approved. Palm Beach is 2362 if you want advisories. 2362, Palm Beach, thank you much. Palm Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike is three miles to the north, inbound for landing runway 14, North Palm Beach. North Palm Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike is on a three mile final runway 14, North Palm Beach. I should have cleaned my windshield. All right. Fuel. On carriage, three green, one in the mirror, mixtures, props, throttles are set, landing light is on. 
Got the glide slope captured. Keep on coming down. Clark Palm Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike, short final runway 14. Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike is off at Kilo. Taxi to the FBO. Paul Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike, radio test. You're loud and clear. Paul Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike, taxi via Foxtrot to departure in runway 32. Paul Mike. North County traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike is uh, taking the active runway 32 for departure. We're going to be leaving the area to the east, North County. Step the brakes and gear up. North County traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, 1200, turning east, departing the area to the east. Last transmission, North County. All right, so uh, we're just flying out to the to the coast here, testing out the autopilot. Uh, we had a failure last time we flew, so I took it to North Palm Beach uh, County Airport, uh, where there's a uh, Palm Beach Avionics. Stacy Jordan uh, is a gentleman who's helping me out get my autopilot issue fixed, and just thought I'd do a little loop around the uh, lighthouse here on the way out. This uh, city that I'm circling over right now is Jupiter, uh, just south of where we live in Stewart, and uh, connected uh, both on the ocean side as well as by the intercoastal. Uh, Jupiter is uh, where a lot of uh, famous individuals live. There are some gorgeous houses down here. We should see some impressive boats. But uh, I do a little turn around a point using the uh, lighthouse here as a target. Lighting is terrific. The water looks gorgeous. So uh, should make for an interesting little circle. Keeping the lighthouse right here off my right wing. Trying to maintain right around 15, 1600 feet here. And uh, Rather than go up the coast, I think we'll cruise up the uh, the intercoastal this time. I'll give you guys a little tour of the intercoastal from the belly camera and the underwing camera. So I'll get lined up here with the intercoastal and uh, show you what Jupiter and Stewart and the Treasure Coast of Florida has to offer. What happened last time uh, we were flying is, as we're cruising along, uh, we encountered some turbulence, and uh, the turbulence uh, allowed the heading mode to continue to function normally, but did not allow the uh, attitude or altitude mode to uh, continue to function. So every time I tried to put the plane into a heading to fly back home, what we encountered instead was a, a variable um, altitude and the plane like to go right into a climb. Uh, obviously that is not what you want your autopilot doing. So we hand flew the plane back for about an hour. Called a couple of my friends in town and a uh, former instructor and they made it clear that uh, Palm Beach Avionics and Stacy Jordan was the guy to see. Uh, it does appear like, uh, like we got the job done. There was a servo issue that's been corrected and the plane is uh, maintaining its heading, maintaining its altitude. Um, it uh, dialed in the turns just as it's supposed to, so uh, so I'm fairly pleased. Uh, good job, Stacy. If you're watching the video, we certainly appreciate your help and.
It doesn't appear like we've got any other surprises here, so now the plane's out of annual. All the uh, avionics recently updated and the autopilot fixed. Uh, not to jinx it, but I think we're in pretty good shape to start getting back to our more usual travel schedule with this plane and uh, see some new places. So I'm, I'm excited. Hope you're enjoying the uh, tail cam of the intercoastal and the, the coast off to the right. We got really pretty colored water today. So I'm about 10 miles out, so I'm going to give the, uh, the Stewart Tower a call and see what they want me to do. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike is one zero miles to the south over the intercoastal inbound for full stop with the weather. 2441 Mike, uh, report turning the final off the shoreline for runway 30, verify Quebec. With information, Quebec will report turning final off the shoreline runway 3041 Mike. All right, so we've called in information, Quebec. Uh, they want me to report turning final runway 30. Uh, at Stewart. I'm going to creep out over the shoreline a little more just to give you more of a, uh, a more scenic route as we approach our final and we should be on the ground here shortly. Again, we just dialed in a heading change. Altitude is maintaining. Heading's doing what it's supposed to. Everything's looking good. Man, it is gorgeous up here today. Get this plane slowed down a little bit. Put in the first notch of flaps. Currently 110. About to pick up my glide slope. We're going to fly this down with the autopilot a little bit. See if we can make it behave. Everything's looking good. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, turning final runway 30. Aztec 244 Mike, Stewart Tower, runway 30, clear to land. Runway 30, clear to land for all of Mike. And everything's working just like it's supposed to on the autopilot. We're gonna click it off and hand fly. Very good. All right, so gumps check. We've got fuel pumps on. You're going down. Three green, one in the mirror. And lights on. Fixtures. Props. Speed is 110. We'll get it slowed down. Put in the second notch flaps. Contact Palm Beach departure. Have a good day. Have go Wolverines. Five hundred from Mike. Go blue. I heard the go Wolverines. Dude, can I get a go dogs as I land? <laughs> I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's much better than the uh, Gators this year. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. They got us last year, but it's nice to see the dogs pulling it off this year. <laughs> yeah, if somebody's got to do it. I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bud. <laughs> All right, coming in on final for 90 knots. We're gonna bleed off that speed. And try to put this down. A little bit gusty, not bad, not bad. All right, very good. Number four, Mike. Where were you parked? Heading over to the Stewart Jet Center, and I'm off at Alpha 341 Mike. Okay, taxi uh, to the ramp via Alpha. Monitor ground on 121.7. No column, just monitor 21.7 if you need to. Monitor ground, taxi to the ramp via Alpha 41 Mike. Thank you. All right, so we uh, we landed. Some of you may have noticed we got off on the first little uh, exit there, and uh, you may notice that I only use two notches of flaps when I land. Uh, one of the nice things about this particular plane is it has a uh, stole kit. So even though it's a twin, uh, there was a time where the Aztec was a, and continues to be a very popular uh, uh, island plane and uh, short runway plane. And when I bought this plane, it was equipped with a stole kit. So I can get real slow and, uh, and still maintain controls. The, the, the kit is uh, very interesting. What it does is it actually takes the ailerons. Um, and in addition to the flaps, drops down the ailerons uh, to, uh, to maintain, maintain control and reduce the speed all the way down to the runway. And even though I had only two notches of flaps, uh, had I used the third notch and really drooped the ailerons, the plane can get uh, real, real slow and still maintain all its directional control and whatnot. So uh, for, for us at least, the plane was, uh, is and will continue to be our goal for getting over to the Bahamas and back since it's so close. We're going to start the Bahamas hopefully here real soon as the uh, 
uh, COVID situation plays out. But uh, using the stole kit over in the Bahamas can get us down on some real short runways. So I'm uh, looking forward to doing some practice with the stole kit and really seeing what this plane will do here in, in coming weeks and future trips. But, uh, you know, still nothing appears to be uh, wrong. The autopilot worked. The avionics are all updated, and the plane's just out of annual with no mechanical issues to speak of at the moment. So, um, so hopefully you're enjoying the videos, and uh, the next year should be fun. Appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll catch you soon.